Thor Love and Thunder is coming at us this summer. And of course, we know very little details in regards to what to expect. But one major theory slash rumor has now been confirmed. Valkyrie will be the king of New Asgard. With Thor Love and Thunder set to be the next film after Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, it makes sense that we're going to start hearing about that film soon. Now, of course, recently we had Legos, and there's been other things that have been spotted out there, listings for Pop Funkos and other action figures. And most notably, of course, these are all coming at us with more info in regards to what to expect. And as most people have noticed, we all suspected that this would be the case, but now it's confirmed. Valkyrie will not just be Valkyrie anymore. She is, in fact, noted among many of the things we've seen out there, including the most recent Lego set, as King Valkyrie. Now, of course, this was teased the last time we saw the character, but we didn't know which direction they would take it in. And recently, there was even teases that her character would have another relationship that would sort of hint towards a all-inclusive LGBTQ type of direction and that she would be taking on a king title instead of the queen of Asgard. Now this, I think, quite obviously confirms everything we heard previously. We heard that her marketing would feature her as a king. That's now confirmed. We've heard about what her outfit is going to look like and the action sequence. The recent Lego set confirms this. And we've heard about the relationship status, which that's the last thing that needs to be confirmed. But that went hand in hand with her having a queen, which means that this all kind of lines up with everything now. I, I think you can kind of put this one to rest. This is more or less all confirmed now. And honestly, I'm cool with this. You know, um, I've said it before, the Thor franchise isn't really my favorite. It's those types of films that I'm like, I'll watch them because they're here and they exist in this world I like. But... They're not something I go out of my way to be super excited about. The Thor Ragnarok pushed me towards, yeah, okay, I'm really hyped for this. Love and Thunder looks more of like what I always hoped Thor would be. And a character like Valkyrie that never really jumped out at me as somebody that I want to know more about just because of her limited screen time. This is finally giving me that push towards caring and wanting to see what's going on with her character. Actually having a character in a relationship and her actually being presented as somebody that's really important like the king of asgard is i think really cool and i just hope you know other people kind of go into this open-minded and uh you know knowing that this isn't maybe meant for them you know there's obviously an audience here that this is meant to target and you know appeal to which i'm just excited about that as well so overall i'm super hyped um nothing bad here from me i just can't wait to see how they're going to handle her being the king and uh does she have you know, some sort of voiceover, what even Thor's allowed to do. She's like, look, you're an Asgardian. I tell you what to do. I, I think that would be kind of um interesting to get that angle.